we've just arrived in Nazca after a very, very long bus ride. The thing that we're not used to is the weather here in the desert. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hot in the day and then it gets so cold at night. We've just checked into our hotel. We're going to be spending the night there and then tomorrow we are going for our special tour. Special tour! You'll see. By a removal process, the dark surface stones were removed to either side, revealing the lighter soil sandy clay. Hello, hello. Hello. Why no? Selling random drinks, which you don't know what it is. Em emoliente. Emoliente. And apparently it's good for you. The color looks good for you. So he mixed this green juice with a bunch of like different things. And then he poured tea in it, I think. It's warm. It smells like herbs. It's like a coca tea, like a sweet coca tea. It's not bad. It's sweet, has a very strong herb taste, and it's warm. Maybe it'll kill my indigestion. The Nazca lines are actually huge geoglyphs that are drawn into the sand here in the Nazca desert. Some of the glyphs are actually over 300 meters in size. Because of their size, many people think that the Nazca lines were created with the help of aliens. But more modern research has shown that with primitive technology like sticks and strings and even just a line of people, you're able to create all the drawings and geometric shapes of the Nazca line with just a little bit of good planning. The Nazca lines are just areas of the desert where the top soil has been pushed aside to expose the lighter sand underneath. And because the Nazca desert is one of the driest in the world, there's no wind, no rain, and absolutely no flooding here, the lines have been naturally preserved for over 2,000 years. The most famous person who laid the foundation of our current understanding of the Nazca lines was Maria Reich, the Lady of the Lines. She was a German mathematician and archaeologist who co-discovered the lines back in the 1920s or 1930s. She then spent the next 40 years of her life dedicated to protecting and studying the Nazca lines. Sadly, in 1998, she passed away and she was buried here in the Nazca desert, right next to her life's work. While you can see some of the glyphs from the surrounding mountains or some of the towers that are built along the highway, by far the best way to experience the Nazca lines is by taking a flight.
That was really fun. Thanks. That was so much fun. Yeah, that was way more amazing <laughs> than I thought it would be. The lines are super clear <laughs> and uh, our pilots did a really good job explaining each one. The pilots' flying skills are so good. Yeah. You don't even feel any... Gracias. Gracias. The landing and takeoff was so smooth. That was really fun. There's no other way to yeah. see the lines. Best way to see the lines. Don't scrim. Make sure you pay for a flight when you're here in Nazca. Amazing experience. Thanks again for watching our video. If you like our content and would like to continue following us to amazing places like the Nazca Lines, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you below. Thank you and see you guys on the next video. Woo! Someone is feeling sick. Try my salad for dinner. It's better than it looks. <laughs>